Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to walk you through and how you can hook up turn signals and a horn on your CF Moto U-Force. This is going to go for the U-Force 1000 and the U-Force 1000 XL and it's going to be very similar to all other CF Moto models. Now we're going to use mostly OEM parts while saving money on the other stuff. So without further ado, let's get into the video. But after we talk about today's sponsor, RNG Performance, where all your clutch kits and all of your nice fancy parts and your switch panels come from, www.rngperformance.net, guys. Thank you for checking out my webpage and my YouTube channel. Leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know in a comment below if I've been able to help you in today's video. We're gonna go over part numbers as to what you're gonna need for this job. For starters, we're gonna start with the horn switch. Right there, guys, that would be the part number. We're also gonna need a turn signal relay, OEM part. Right there's the part number, fellas. And we're gonna need the turn signal switch. Right there would be the part number. And to hook up the horn without cutting any wires, you'll be able to plug in to any horn that you want by purchasing this here harness. This is a plug and play harness, and we're gonna plug it into some horns that we found and will be selling on our website here real soon. We're also uh, wanting to put together a basic turn signal kit to make this all happen. It's pretty affordable and you're not gonna have a thousand dollars in it. Right there's the part number for that horn connector. Right here is the horns that we picked up and we also picked up some little round lights that is not here yet. They will be getting here in a few minutes and we'll show you them here in the video here a bit later. But they're lights that I always use. And what we're gonna do for the front is, most of you guys had seen where I put all them LEDs, them fancy LEDs in the headlights. We're utilizing those with a control box that come with those RGB lights. Hooking those up are gonna be real similar. Now, a few other U-Forces I did, we just put the little round lights that we're gonna show you on the front and still tapped in to the factory wire right here, which is real easy to do. You gotta cut one wire out of the connector on the front on each side and then one, uh, two wires on the connector in the back. It's not real hard. Yes, you do gotta cut the factory harness. It's not gonna hurt anything when you do it right with heat shrink tubing. Don't do none of that solder crap that we just seen on another channel. But, but I am gonna put together a turn signal kit. I'm working on that right now with pricing and everything, so bear with me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on cutting the proper wires that we're gonna need. So on the driver's side, the plug that goes into the headlight, which you guys don't have to take all this apart to get to it, but you do have to pull these two clips out and pull this down, unplug this. And it's gonna be the orange wire driver's side. Let's just clip that right like that. And now we're gonna put one of these heat shrink butt connectors on it. Gonna wanna strip that, use wire strippers. By using a heat shrink butt connector, it's going to seal that wire from any corrosion. Any water, moisture, it's gonna keep it from getting in that wire. There we go. That's on there. Now we just gotta do the other side. Passenger side in the front, we're gonna look for the baby blue wire. We're gonna cut it trim it and now we're gonna put our heat shrink butt connector on there and once we get our other wire on there we'll heat those they'll shrink and they glue they have glue that seals them can't beat them if you don't seal these wires they will corrode and corrosion will travel farther up the harness and cause problems way up the harness and that's how we do the front here all right and the back where it plugs into the bed we're gonna be after again the orange wire which is driver side clip it and the baby blue wire which is passenger side. Clip it. Now we're gonna pull those out of that harness. We're gonna put these back and we will tape this back up. Just not until we're ready. Okay, now you can do this on the bed side. We're gonna do it a little bit different just because the bed's full and it's not going back on for a while. But this is just to show you guys. Now these wires here, what you're gonna wanna do, the LEDs that you're gonna use, you're gonna put the positive on the orange for the driver's side and the positive for the passenger side 
on the blue and do the same up front and then you can ground the led to the bed itself the bed itself does get enough ground we're going to run our own ground wire put plugs so i'm going to show you what plugs we're actually going to use here and believe it or not cf moto uses some good quality wire and yes you can get the factory lights that do plug and play with all this um, but they cost money and we're cheap now what we're going to do is use these plug style connectors we're going to put the female on the power side and the male on the led side just like so now we're going to heat shrink these go ahead and just heat shrink these remember guys the heat shrink and the glue it all protects the wire right there we go nice and heat shrunk it'll be nice and sealed all right we're going to want to get our flasher relay and it actually sits right here plugs right in right here now this wire right here is going to be right down under zip tied to this bar we can just put it right down like that it sits just like so all right guys we've already had this apart because obviously we're making a mess but nonetheless we're going to put our turn signal switch in here um, these are notched so they only go in whatever way they were designed just like so um again notched so they go in and then down here is your plugs we're going to feed them through here and they just go right in there like so all right and then that'll clip back in but we're not done with that so so we're going to get our horn wire here we're going to get our horn wire we're just going to plug it up like so it don't matter what wires go to what right back here on this fender well there's a tapped hole. This actually threads right into it. You don't have to do this. I'm doing it. We're gonna thread it in there, just like so. We wanna aim that horn down. So mud, if it gets up in there, it'll come right back out. Now, right here is the horn plug. We gotta get this little cap out of here. Once we get that cap out of there, that plugs in just like so. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to work on wiring and kind of getting this front end put back together. And then I'm going to show you the, the turn signals in action up front. Probably won't be able to show you the turn signals in the rear, but I will play this clip for you real quick. You've seen what we did on that u-force that's what you can do or uh, do what i did but what i did is a little bit more complicated but without further ado i'm going to get to tidying up some wires and we'll show you the end result all right guys we got the front end all on we got the the lights all working and everything and we're going to show you a few of the things that they can do and then we're going to show you how the turn signals work we're gonna go to the app now these come with an app or a, or a remote it's pretty nifty because you can do all kinds of stuff check this out that would get you pulled over so you definitely want it on a solid color not like that for sure but it does chasing and all kinds of stuff you guys get the hint right let's go ahead and check the turn signals out so I'm going to turn our left turn signal on check that out and the other one continues to do what it's doing all right now we got the right turn signal on there we go those are our turn signals and they do uh they do their thing and here's that control panel we got to get our stickers on it we'll do that once it's done and we're done adding accessories we'll go through and put the stickers on where they go but yeah we got our control panel and i know those are bright i've said this in the other videos but once you put the stickers on that have the little logos of what you're going to use it dulls it right down and just enough so you can see it at night it's perfect once you get those stickers on there and then you want to turn this off you just 
There you go. It's off. No keyed power, no nothing. We want to turn it back on. It will resume where you left off. So, or you can manually, you know, do that. But, yeah, guys. So, that's how you do that. We got the horn hooked up and, and working and all that. Got the front turn signals. And you guys can use the little round lights. Shoot, I forgot to bring those in. We've had mounts that went under here that have them. So, you can imagine you can hook any LED up that you want to use for a front and rear turn signal. I just kind of showed you the wires that you're going to need to do it. And it's super easy, guys. All right, guys, so we just spent the last hour tidying up all of this wiring and getting it all straightened up. Check that out. We got that battery hooked up. We have a fuse block there. Well, it's actually a breaker instead of a fuse. It's a breaker. I just got to tidy up that blue wire right there. But um, I'm kind of done for the night, so... It's almost done to where I can put the seats back on after I clean these boxes out. Look how dirty they got just sitting in here. We still have to clean this up and make this look just as nice. I was just hooking everything up to make sure everything worked. Sure enough, it works great. So that's all we was doing there. And that'll look real nice and pretty when we're done. And then um, we got one more video, which should be coming soon. I'm just waiting on stuff for the plastics. So that's all that. And then we got to get a light bar for up there we do have the rear window i'm waiting on a front window and then we'll be able to tidy that up and get that all done all right guys so that concludes today's video i want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching i want to thank you guys for being patient i've been sick plus i've been working a lot shipping you guys as orders from my website check that out and if you're interested in some hats if you go to my website and scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see my merch store that's where you can get the hats and the shirts and you'll also see my Amazon store which has all kinds of other CF Moto goodies so check that out for sure we have just about everything it's not all on my website but a lot of stuff is on uh, my Amazon store as well so definitely check that out this is coming out good let me know in the comment section below of what you guys think about these lights and how they turned out I kind of was toying with the idea towing of seeing if I can source these OEM headlights at a decent price and build them and then sell them to you guys but I'm thinking about buying one and seeing if there's a better way I can get uh, the plastic off of there that's a whole other story so let me know if you guys would be interested in that because if I get enough feedback I just might pull the trigger and make it work I'm also thinking about building my own um, whip lights so let me know if you guys would be interested in that sort of thing and then I'll know if I should move forward or not because I've been toying with the idea to doing it another thing is finding time to do it so but if it's something that I can sell and, and help pay my bills and do all this for you guys be able to provide you guys with all these videos how-to videos I definitely will oh and you guys were wondering I want to show you this plug right here will disable your DRLs so they're not always on. Just thought I would toss that bit of information to you guys. All right, guys, make sure you uh, hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Definitely share the channel, share the videos. Subscribe, click the bell so you know when I go live or drop a video. Peace out, God bless, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for making everything possible for me to do what I love to do.